Hi, my name is Dim Sim Lim, and today we're comparing a home cooked egg fried rice versus a restaurant quality egg fried rice. To cook a good fried rice, it actually starts from cooking the perfect steamed rice. First, we're gonna start by washing the rice. I know a lot of you actually wash this rice until it's clear, but that actually washes all the starch out of the rice and it's gonna give you a really sticky, wet type of fried rice. We're not using overnight rice, we're using steam fresh rice to cook this fried rice. We'll pour out the water. And put fresh water into the rice. Just give it a light swirl. And pour out the rest of the water. Okay? Now we're ready to fill it up with fresh water, ready to cook. So this is my usual measurement method. Put my hand in there. If it reaches my knuckle, I know that's enough water for the rice. To cook the steamed rice for fried rice, you actually need to put a little bit of oil in there. It actually stops the rice from sticking together and it makes it all fluffy and separate. So we add about one tablespoon of chicken powder, six, two, one. Now we use our rice scoop to give it a mix. Just to mix it into the rice and give it a little bit of flavor. Now it's ready to go into the rice cooker. While the rice is cooking in the background, we're gonna prepare all the ingredients. For this recipe, we're using four eggs. Two eggs for the home cooked fried rice, and we're using two eggs for the restaurant quality fried rice. This is an Asian household and we don't have whisk here, so we're using chopsticks. Okay, so you don't want to over whip this egg and you just want to combine the egg yolk and the egg whites. So we have a little bit of chicken thigh here. I'm just going to cut this up into small cubes. This one's for the home cooked fried rice and that's for the restaurant quality fried rice. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the chicken into the bowl to marinate. So we're using sugar, six, two, one, chicken powder, a little bit of white pepper, a little dash of soy sauce, oil and rice flour. I'll give this a mix. Now if this is too dry, add a little bit of water. Now we have some spring onions, remove the ends. We're using the white end of the spring onion to cook the rice and we're using the green part to garnish. We'll put the green part into water. Now the rice is ready and you can just smell that flavor from the rice cooker. This is nice and fresh fluffy steamed rice and this is dry hard day old rice. How can this be better than fresh fluffy rice. We're using fresh rice to cook this fried rice. There is no way, this literally looks like pebbles. <laughs> like, there is no way this is better than fluffy steamed rice. Now that the rice is cooked, we're ready to fry the rice. Now let's season the rice. We're using a little bit of sugar. Six, two, one. Chicken powder. White pepper. Soy sauce. A little bit more oil. And now we mix it all in. We wanna separate big clumps of rice so you don't need to do it when we're cooking. It's easier to separate in the rice cooker than it is to separate on the wok or the pan. Taste it to make sure it's well seasoned. Mm. To speed up the process, we're gonna cook the chicken and the prawns outside in the wok. Oil. Chicken. So make sure we're moving around so it doesn't stick. We'll cook this chicken to about 90%. Now we turn off the heat and we'll put it aside. Now we take a little bit more oil into the wok. And this time we're cooking the prawns. Same as the chicken, move it around so it doesn't stick. We're only gonna cook the prawns halfway. Turn off the heat. Now strain it together with the chicken. Put everything into the bowl. And we'll take it inside. Cook the fried rice. 
To cook the home style fried rice, we're just using a regular stainless steel pan. I'll turn it on high heat. Basically, this is a home stove. We just have to sit here and patiently wait three hours for it to heat up. <laughs> now, six hours later, your pan is hot. You can feel the heat and we're ready for the oil, okay? Do not put the oil until this pan is hot enough. You see that? As soon as I put the oil, it's instantly smoking. Now we're putting half the egg. Because we're saving the other half of the egg. Try not to move the pan too much. If you move it too much, you're going to lose heat, right? Give it a stir. Add a little bit more oil. Break up the egg. Now we're ready to add the rice. Add half your spring onions. See how I'm not moving it? And we don't need to season it because the rice is already seasoned. So all we need to do is just cook the rice. When the rice is almost ready, let's add our prawn and chicken back. To finish it off, we add a little bit of sesame oil. Now boom, that's ready. Nice and fluffy. All the grains of rice are individually separated. Ready to serve. Put a little bit of garnish on top, a little bit of green onions, and that's it. Now that the home style fried rice is cooked, we're taking everything outside and we're cooking the restaurant quality fried rice. Let's not forget the dim sim dim sign. <laughs> Gotta place that here, give it a little polish before we start filming. There we go. <laughs> now we're cooking on the wok. Don't blink because it's gonna be over before you even know it. Now let's crank it on full heat. Oil. Egg. Add your rice. Green onions. Let's add our prawn and chicken back. Pull the prawns out and bring it back on top to make it look nice and pretty. Okay, and now we drop the garnish on top. Taste test time. This is the home cooked egg fried rice. Let's try it. Mmm. Even though this is home cooked, because we pre-fried everything, we pre-cooked everything and we seasoned the rice, you can't actually tell the difference between this and a restaurant quality fried rice. So I'm gonna have another bite with a little bit of chicken. Mm. The chicken's nice and tender. The fried rice, it's all individual. You see that? All the grains of rice are separated and there's lots of egg in every single bite. So. This could actually pass as a restaurant quality fried rice. Now, let's try the restaurant quality fried rice. This one's the restaurant quality fried rice. You see how the egg is a little bit more separated? Because we used a little bit more oil on the wok. Now let's take a big bite. Mmm. This one is really good. The egg is in a lot smaller pieces, so it's evenly separated. You can just definitely tell this is a restaurant quality fried rice. But in my opinion, the restaurant fried rice is definitely the winner here today. But the home cooked fried rice using the exact same techniques and ingredients actually doesn't taste that big of a difference compared to the restaurant quality. I think I'm a little bit biased because I cooked 
both of these fried rices. We should have cameraman Genio get over here and you can try this fried rice and you let me know what you think, okay? okay? Thank you. Let's try it. Let me move out the way for you. So this is a restaurant fried rice. Mmm. All right, let me know what you think. You took your first bite, let me know what you think. Okay. Even with simple ingredients, it tastes like five-star restaurant's food, you know? Now let's move this out the way and let me know. Home-cooked fried rice. With the exact same ingredients, mm. let's see how we did with the home-cooked fried rice. With my first bite, with a big prawn. Mm. What do you think? Which one's better? Mm. It tastes so good. You can't spot any difference between these two. Yeah, mm. I think you can't taste any difference between the two. Yeah. So, I think, honestly, that really sums it up. Restaurant quality fried rice versus a home cooked fried rice, there's not much difference. The only thing is to do at home is to prepare all your ingredients and make sure your pan is really, really hot. Because in order to achieve that wat hay, it really requires a hot pan, a lot of oil, and just technique, you know? That's the way to cook fried rice. Yeah, yeah. You can't spot any difference between these two. Yo, cameraman genio. Tell them. Like, subscribe to Dean Sim Lim. <laughs> Alright, laters.